Brethren, it's another wonderful opportunity. Welcome to 2022. Isn't this amazing? This is God's grace that has kept us this far. And, uh, you know, before I say anything, I just want to pray a prayer of thanksgiving. Father, we just want to give you thanks. We just want to give you praise. Because you are an awesome God, a wonderful God. You have loved us. With a marvelous love, you have never left us, never forsaken us. We are here today because of your loving hand. If it wasn't for you, oh God, where would we be? We are so excited to be in this new year, a new season where we can reboot and see the grace of God once again. Father, I just thank you on behalf of of El Shaddai World Ministries, on behalf of the body of Christ, and on behalf of those that love you and seek after your face. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, brethren. Beautiful, wonderful. Oh, I don't know where to begin at, but I am just so grateful to God for where he has taken me to and where he has taken you to. We are here today because of what is called his mercy. It is his grace that we can stand here. It is his grace that we can listen and hear and we can look and see. There are many who would want to have that opportunity, but they have not managed to get such an opportunity. Today, my sermon is very simple. I want to give you, you know, some, 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 some PowerPoints to get into 22 with. And I've called this sermon Spiritual Life Boosters. Spiritual Life Boosters. And this is going to be very important for you to be successful in 22. 22. Praise God. I know we're coming out of a year which was difficult for many, for many businesses, for many individuals, for many companies, for many people. It was a hard year. But I am saying today that there are boosters that we can begin to apply to our spiritual life to change the dynamics of things. Okay, let's go about this. Number one booster is prayer and fasting. It might sound simple, child of God, to you. It might sound as a simple thing, but it's power packed. There's something that God wants us to see here. You see, prayer and fasting is a program of the believer. Are you hearing me, somebody? Don't wait for the church to declare a corporate fast. Do it yourself. Boost your spiritual life on your own. So don't wait for a corporate fast to be declared. Yes, participate in a corporate fast because there's power in it. But also on your own, individually, have your time of prayer and fasting. 
Praise God. It is not when you feel like it. I feel like prayer and fasting now, so let me pray and fast. No. You see, the enemy that we are fighting against doesn't do things when he feels like it. He is after us. The Bible tells us that he is like a rolling lion. Huh? Moving around, looking for whom he made vow. Are you hearing me, somebody? Huh? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So, you need a spiritual life booster. Take prayer and fasting seriously. Praise God. Hallelujah. Fasting is a weapon, a spiritual power house. A spiritual weapon for breaking every yoke. Are you hearing me, somebody? For breaking every yoke. It enhances the delivery of answers to your prayers. It does. Glory to Jesus. Stick with me. Stick with me. We go in somewhere here. There are some demons that are resistant to just prayer. You know, when you just pray and say, oh God, this thing, oh God, that thing, oh God, if I may, oh God, if I... There are some demons that are resistant to that. Which is why I am saying that your prayer sometimes must be combined with fasting. Glory to Jesus if you're still with me, say amen. And if you have the liberty, invite a friend, invite a brother, invite a sister. Because this is important for us to step into 2022 with. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the, those demons, they need fasting. Remember the disciples asked Jesus at some point. When Jesus was coming down the mountain, he found the disciples were there. And, you know, he had two disciples with him. Was it two or three? He had some disciples with him. But there were some that were down there. And there was a man there who was talking to them. And when he saw Jesus, he went to, the, to him and he said, Master, Master, I have asked your disciples to cast the demon out of my child. Because this demon, every time, it throws him into the fire. Do you see what the devil does? He doesn't like you. He doesn't like anybody. It throws him into the fire. It throws him into the water. It wants him to drown or it wants him to burn. That's what the devil does. Those are his end results. That's what he wants. Anyone who follows him, he wants him to burn at the end of the day or to drown. Praise God. But when he got there and Jesus looked at his disciples and he said, Where is thy faith? Huh? What kind of thing is this? Why are you embarrassing me like this? I have given you power. You walk with me every day. And you see how power is transmitted. And lives are changed. Huh? And Jesus got hold of the young boy. And he cast out the demon. I like the disciples because they were good scholars. And after they had finished this, they were not offended. They said, Master, tell us. Why could we not cast it out? And Jesus was clear to them and he said, This kind goes not except by prayer and fasting. Matthew 17 verse 21. You need to mark that in your Bible. And suddenly some Bibles are now leaving this particular verse out. Some interpreters are now leaving this particular verse out because they know how powerful it is. And as a result, they don't want Christians that are powerful. They want Christians 
that are now believers. So it says, how bait there is a kind, are you hearing me somebody? There is a kind that will not go except by prayer and fasting. You hear? You still hear? I want you to repeat it after me. This kind will not go except by prayer and fasting. There is a kind that will go by prayer. There is a kind that will go by just, you know, declarations. But there is this kind that will not go except by prayer and fasting. Stick with me. Stick with me. Spiritual life booster number two. Praying in the spirit. Praying in the spirit. Look at the person next to you and say, Praying in the spirit. To simplify it for others, praying in tongues. In tongues. Are you hearing me, somebody? Glory to Jesus. You know, when you look at the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 26 to 27, it says, Likewise, the spirit also helps our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of God or the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that? So, I want you to understand today that we don't know what we should pray for. There are moments when we are in the dark. There is an attack. We don't know what has happened. It's just like when electricity goes out of your house. You have no idea. Is this electricity gone because there is a fault in my own house? Or is it an area fault? Or is it a country fault? Until you phone the power company, that's when they tell you, oh, okay, we have registered your complaint and we are going to investigate and before you know it, they send you a message and they say, we are investigating the power outage in this particular thing. So a number of things can cause something. That's why the word is saying, we do not know what we should pray for. Which is why we need to rely on the Holy Spirit. And I want you to know today that the Holy Spirit has multiple languages multiple languages that we can pray with are you with me somebody are you following me somebody pursue me because these are important nuggets that you are going to need from january to december are you with me are you with me stay with me stay with me glory to jesus hallelujah hallelujah glory to jesus so the spirit communicates mysteries you hear me he communicates mysteries to god as we pray in tongues or in the spirit as long as you say holy spirit go ahead take over and you get to that groaning stage where you begin to pray in deep tongues you know that kind of prayer is encrypted no demon can hear it. No satanic force can, can even decipher it. They can't. It's so powerful that they have to run away. Are you with me, somebody? So praying in the spirit is very powerful. Are you with me? Are you with me? It is a spiritual life booster it will boost you to levels that you did not imagine hallelujah it's not driving a ferrari that boosts your spiritual life no 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 
It's not having a big, nice house that boosts your spiritual life. No, all these things will remain here on earth. What we need to do is to really get to the level where we need to get to in the things of the Spirit. Glory to Jesus. When you look at Jude, chapter 1 verse 20, or you can just say Jude 20, because there's only one chapter in the book of Jude. Huh? Praise God. Hallelujah. If you have your Bible, go there. Jude is not in the Old Testament. It's just before Revelation. Okay? It says, but you, beloved, huh, building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying. Do you see that? Praying in the Holy Ghost. Huh? The Amplify says, build yourself like an edifice, higher and higher. Pray in the Holy Ghost. You with me? Stick with me, stick with me, stay with me. So it's very important that you use these boosts to boost your prayer life. To boost your spiritual standing here on earth in this particular year and in this particular season. Glory to Jesus. Number three. Booster number three. Spiritual life booster number three is praying with testimony. Look at the person next to you and say praying with testimony. Praying with testimony. This is such a powerful, powerful nugget. Glory to Jesus. You know, Hezekiah used his walk with the Lord. And Isaiah the prophet was told to go back and tell him that 15 years was added to his life. What had Hezekiah done? He was told the prophet was sent by God to go and tell him and say, put your house in order. Put your house in order, for you shall die. And he turned on his bed. And he began to petition with God using testimony. Look at the person next to you and say testimony. He used testimony and he was telling God the things that he had done. And just when the prophet had gone out, God told him, go back and tell him, I have added 15 years to you. A decade plus five. And after that, Hezekiah was happy. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. 2 Kings 20 verse 3. I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth. Testimony. He's giving testimony. And with a perfect heart. I just want to ask someone today who is listening to me. Are you walking with a perfect heart? Are you walking straight in the things of God? Are you walking in righteousness? Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Huh? And I have done that which is good in thy sight. He had done things which were good in the sight of God. And Hezekiah wept so. He cried to God. And he said, God, it's not time yet. Yes, you might have timed it there and you have said it's time up. But remember the things that I have done. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Somebody say amen there. Somebody say amen there. This is powerful. This is important. Spiritual life boosts. Spiritual life boosts. Number three, praying with testimony. You have seen testimonies in your life. And if you come to a place where you are facing a challenge, you can kneel down and say, God, remember when you did this for me. 
Remember when I did this, when I fed the poor, when I helped build the church, when I helped do the work of the ministry. Remember how I always swept the church so that the saints could come and sit in a clean environment. You can raise all those testimonies in your prayer. And as you do that, it gives you the boost you need in the things of the Spirit. It gives your presence huh? in the house of the Lord. It gives your presence in the courtroom power. Glory to Jesus. It gives your presence in the spiritual realm power. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Praying with testimony. Look at the person next to you and say, from now on, I am going to pray with testimony. I'm not just going to pray without a testimony. I am going to pray with testimony. Glory to Jesus. Like Hezekiah, I will pray with testimony. Look at David in 1 Samuel chapter 17. David said, that the God who gave him the lion and the bear, I love this, would give him the uncircumcised Philistine. He was facing Goliath. He said, I can fight this guy. I can get him down. What is your Goliath today? The God that helped you before can help you before that giant he might look big. Yeah, giants are big. That's why they are called giants. But then, when you remember the testimony, even of the little things that might, you might look as little, that God has done for you, you can take that giant down. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I am talking of Spiritual booster number three. Glory to Jesus. Goliath was defeated. Remember, Goliath started saying to David, oh, you come against me with, uh, you know, uh, these stones. Why are you sending me this little dog? What, what, what? And David said, you are coming against me with sword, spear, and all that, and shield. But I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts. <laughs> oh, glory. The young man was confident in his spiritual standing. He was confident in the way that his life was boosted as a believer. Oh, glory. Glory, 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 glory. Don't lose me. Trek with me today. Trek with me today because it's important that this 2022, oh, the devil is in trouble. He is in trouble. Whatever he had thrown at you, aha, we are saying return to sender. Throw it back. Hallelujah. 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 Goliath was not able to use his word against David. David used Goliath's sword to cut Goliath's head off. This is what I am talking about. That that enemy that was bothering you, that was bothering your nation, that was bothering your people, that was bothering anything and anybody around you is falling. Agree with me right now and say the enemy is coming down. He is coming down. <laughs> Just like the walls of Jericho came down by faith when the children of Israel marched around. That enemy is coming down. That giant is coming down. Oh, glory. Glory, 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 glory. Hmm? Those testimonies you have from the 
pastors are powerful in prayer. They are powerful in prayer. You lost your job? Okay. But you got a job before. That's a testimony. It's powerful in prayer. Use it. Are you hearing me, somebody? Use that testimony in prayer. God, I cannot be jobless because before you showed yourself strong on my behalf and you gave me a job. Uh I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Use those testimonies today. Hallelujah. Those testimonies are powerful. Whatever Jesus died for, that is not yet speaking in your life, must start speaking today. Are you with me? He died for your healing. If it's not speaking in your life, it must speak today. He died for your redemption, for your salvation, for your you know, liberty. He, had, he died for you to move out of poverty. Hallelujah. To move out of poverty into riches. If that is not testifying in your life today. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. It must testify today. Look at the person next to you and say it must testify today. Anything that Jesus died for, then it must happen today. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Are you following me? Are you pursuing me? Hallelujah. This is exciting. This is exciting. We are in an exciting season and an exciting time. So whatever Jesus died for, child of God, it must manifest in your life today. Are you still with me? Stay with me. Glory to Jesus. Number four. Spiritual life booster number four is forgiveness. Forgiveness. Matthew 5 verse 23 to 24 tells us, Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, are you hearing that? If you bring your gift to the altar, this is how God interprets things. Whatever you give, huh? Whatever you bring to the altar, he says, whenever you bring a gift to the altar, he says, and there you remember that you have a thing with a brother or with your brother. You have a situation with your brother that has not been resolved. Or your brother has not forgiven you over something. Or you have not forgiven your brother over something. It could be your sister, it could be your mother, it could be your father, it could be anyone. That you have not forgiven or that has not forgiven you. The Bible is saying leave there thy gift before the altar and go your way. (laughs) Are you hearing me? Go your way. Look at the person next to you and say, go your way. Go your way. First, be reconciled with your brother. And then come and offer your gift. That is going to make your gift powerful. Hmm? Are you hearing me, somebody? It's going to make your gift powerful. It's going to make it, you know, to punch strong that whatever desire that has brought you to that altar will be fulfilled. Many gifts are lying before the altar with no without any result because of failing to understand this spiritual life booster. The one of 
forgiveness. You hear other believers saying, I'm never going to forgive that person. I am never going to forgive that person. Well, you know what? You are carrying a rock. Even that person is the one who made a mistake against you. If you do not forgive, it is you who is carrying a rock. Because they might pray to God and say, God, please forgive me. I wronged that, that brother or I wronged that sister. And they move on. And you are still carrying this big rock around. How far are you going to go? No way. In the realm of the spirit, you are a failure. Glory to Jesus. So in 2022, child of God, address every situation that has been resistant to your prayers. Make use of the boosters, the spiritual life boosters that I have given you here. Glory to Jesus. Pray using testimonies of the past things that God has done for you in the past. Things that God has done for others in the past. Use those testimonies. Testimonies that are recorded in the word of God. Use those testimonies. Hallelujah. You have seen him move on your behalf before. You will move again. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. That every burden is coming off your neck and that yoke is being broken in this season. I am declaring it that every burden, every burden is coming off your neck as you exercise these boosts. You're going to boost your life to the level that all these things that were putting you down are coming off. The chains that were bound you are breaking off. Hallelujah. Pray more in the spirit and see the Holy Spirit take this position in your prayers today. Are you hearing me, somebody? I am so excited today. God is faithful. God is good. So if you're not born again today, Romans 10 verse 9 tells us, if you confess with your lips that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It's a prayer that you need to make. Jesus Christ, come into my life. I confess with my mouth that you are Lord. I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead and as a result, I am saved. That's the number one thing that you need to do to open the door to all these boosters to work in your life. God bless you, child of God. I look forward to seeing you next time. And may the Lord bless you, keep you, and cause you to see the goodness of the land in this particular year, 2022. May tears be wiped away from your eyes. And may you see the glory of God in a new way and a new fashion in Jesus name. Amen.